I get it. You're tired of feeling the weight of the endless to-do list, juggling multiple tasks, and desperately seeking a better work-life integration. The simple solution to your problem is streamlining your operations. So today, I'm going to dive more into why you need to do it, but you haven't, even though you know that you need to. And we're also gonna explore that as well so that you can face this project head on and get it done. Welcome to the Mind Your Time podcast with Shannon Baker. I'm your coffee-loving host and the founder of The Mighty Society. As a business strategist, I work with purpose-driven women looking to achieve personal and financial success, but they're struggling with organization and time management. Together, we're gonna tackle those challenges head on so you can regain control of your business and your time. We're gonna explore the strategies and tools you need to make your business more efficient so you can achieve sustainable growth while creating a more fulfilling business and personal life while achieving personal satisfaction and improving your overall well-being. Being busy is not a badge of honor, so get ready to be more intentional with your time and create success on your own terms. So grab your favorite beverage and let's dive into today's topic. Let me start by saying, I know that business systems are not fun and sexy, but the truth is when you own your own business, everything you need to do to be successful isn't going to be fun. And no matter what anyone may tell you, you cannot outsource everything. Streamlining your business systems is really like organizing your closet. You sort things out, you label things so you can find them and you get rid of what no longer serves you. Now, I don't know about you, but throwing things out really is pretty calming for me, almost like therapy. This process turns your chaotic closet or whatever it is that you're cleaning up into an area that no longer causes you stress. The same is true when you put the work into streamlining your back office. It turns your business into a haven of productivity, efficiency, and consistency. And how do I know? Because I have been there, my friend. I've shared my story on the podcast before, but I'm going to share some of it again for all of my new listeners. When I started my business as a virtual assistant, I found a ton of information that helped me do all the things to set the business up, start marketing the business and get my first client. But it didn't take long for my business to take off because I personally reached out to everyone that I knew that owned their own business. And because we already had a relationship, they got on board. But this happened very quickly and eventually I became a slave to my business and instead of the business supporting my life, it actually took over my life, including time with my family, which did not go well. Stress, anxiety and overwhelm became my best friends and over time, the love that I once had for my business, it faded. I wasn't happy with the clients I had and I wasn't happy with the work that I was doing. So. I took a step back to reevaluate my priorities and decide what to do to get my life back in order. One thing I knew was that being a virtual assistant was not the space I wanted to stay in. So I took a summer off, enjoyed spending time with my daughter, and I just worked with two clients on retainer. But I also started working with one of my mentors to determine what success meant to me and built my business to support that. But most importantly, I decided that being burnt out and overwhelmed was not the legacy that I wanted to live. And up to that point, I was running my business without systems in place. Yes, I was winging it and I knew I had to stop that. So I sat down and figured out all of the things that weren't working the way that I wanted them to in my business. And I looked at the things that were working well. Then I started mapping out workflows and creating systems so that things could be more consistent, not just for me, but also for my clients. I also put boundaries in place. I implemented business hours and I started establishing deadlines for my clients for the routine tasks that I was doing for them. After doing this, I realized over time that I wasn't the only one that had fallen into this trap. My clients had made the same mistakes that I did. So at this point, 
I started helping my clients strike a better balance by helping them create strategic plans for their business. That's why now I require every new client to have a back office assessment. It's how they press pause so that we can look at the big picture. Then I create a custom action plan that connects the dots to get them from where they are to where they want to be. Part of that process is having them identify how they would like to spend 10 extra hours every week. Why don't you think about that too? This visualization process really will help you see what's possible on the other side of the hard work because streamlining your back office, well, it's work. And while this helps one CEO at a time, I wanted to reach more women with my message which is why I launched this podcast. But the process that I took myself and my clients through is now the framework that I use in my business. The goal is to help you tap into and use the power, and that's all caps, P-O-W-E-R, that you have to be more intentional with your time and create success on your own terms. Now, if you would like to hear more about this process, go back and listen to episode 121 because I talk about what is really blocking your business growth and how you can fix that. I'm going to put a link to that in the show notes. But now let's talk about why you need to give your back office attention now, not later this year or just later, which equates to never, but right now in Q3 so that you can successfully operate efficiently in Q4 moving forward. Well, the first reason is so you can be more intentional with your time. If you're operating as a solopreneur, time is your most valuable resource. And once it's gone, you can't get it back. Streamlining your operations help you optimize the time that you have because it reduces the need to complete manual tasks because you can automate repetitive processes. Imagine the hours that you'll get back by implementing an online scheduler, getting documents signed electronically and getting paid automatically through a payment system. You'll have more time to focus on the revenue generating tasks that you need to focus on so you can grow your business, like serving your clients, networking and developing new service, or just improving the ones that you have. The second reason is so you can grow and scale and yes, they are different. In my world, growth is phase three of the journey that you take as an entrepreneur because your business is generating more revenue and it requires more resources. That's money, time, tools, and processes. You're creating more business systems, eliminating anything that no longer serves you, creating additional revenue streams, and possibly starting to build a team. But you need systems first. When you're in this stage, it's important to notice that revenue is going up, which is great, but your expenses are going up too, and your complexities are going up, which means your time investment and usually your level of stress is also going up because you're gonna find yourself having to put out a lot of fires, and even more so if you are operating without any systems. But you can reduce those fires by getting your systems in place early or now. You don't want all of the details of your business inside of your head either. Think about it. What is going to happen to your business if you lose your head? I am always on the soapbox about this because I've seen too many businesses fold because the owner never documented anything and never created systems. And an emergency came up that took them away from the business and their business came to a screeching halt or even worse, They died unexpectedly, so the business died with them. And if you're not being strategic about what you spend your time and resources on, you will end up making bad choices, which can be costly. So you need to get comfortable with the word no. No is a complete sentence. If you're always saying yes, You're saying no to something else in your life or in your business, and your business definitely needs boundaries to make sure this doesn't happen. Now, the fun part of this phase is that you know what you're selling and you really focus in on creating intellectual property to share your expertise and establish yourself as an expert at what you do. So you may be 
creating an online course or launching a podcast, launching a membership, hosting webinars, and even starting to speak at events. This is definitely when you need to think about investing in experts to help you get the right pieces in place. It is critical to make sure you have the pieces you need to successfully grow your business without overwhelm. Now, I know you may not be able to afford to work with a fractional operations manager like me or a marketing consultant or whatever expert you need, but you can look at other options to tap into the knowledge that they have by maybe booking a paid consultation if they offer that or by joining their membership if they have one. That's why I created the Mighty Society membership. It is literally a resource vault full of things that you can use to start creating your business systems. There are roadmaps, workflows, process templates, message templates, bite-sized how-to videos, and even more inside. Krista Hutchins booked a back office assessment with me and she chose to self-implement her action plan using the membership. She is a go-getter. But this is what Krista had to say, and I quote, if you're ready to throw in a towel because your business has you so overwhelmed, you can fix that with an upgrade to your systems. And my friend Shannon Baker is just the person to help you. Recently, Shannon assessed my business and identified the gaps in my systems, suggested tools and tech to fix them and created a prioritized plan of action. Just going through the assessment and reviewing my custom plan, Shannon gave me so many tips to streamline things and make my life easier. Schedule time with Shannon to get your action plan to plug the leaks in your operations. And the Mighty Society membership contains great resources for someone who is starting out at getting their systems in place. I love that there are stripped down videos that give you just what you need to know to get started, which can save you hours of Googling and YouTubing. When I first joined, I clicked around a little bit, but mostly went straight to what I was looking for. It is so easy to navigate. I can find exactly what I am looking for when I need it, end quote. So if you can relate to how Krista felt before her assessment and joining the membership to after, then it's time for you to make some changes. Now, if you aren't quite ready to work with me one-on-one for whatever your reason is, just go to theshannonbaker.com forward slash membership and check it out for yourself. It is affordably priced at what I feel is a reasonable rate for you to start taking action right now on your own to get immediate relief. But my point is, free is great, but when you really want to grow your business, you have to get some skin in the game and pay for help to shorten the learning curve. So make a plan to save your money or maybe run like a blitz sale or something to help you get the money you need to invest in some expert help. That's what I did last year. And while I was getting my money together to work with the two experts that I knew would help me make some game-changing moves in my business, I listened to their podcast and I consumed their content on Instagram. I work with one to rebrand this podcast and the other to launch my membership. But until I could make that investment, which it was worth every penny, I just consumed what I could for free. Let's face it, we all dream of growing our business and achieving sustainable growth. Streamlining your operations lays the foundation for that, and by implementing efficient systems, you can handle increased workloads without compromising the quality of your services or burning out. And scaling up becomes a breeze when you have streamlined operations supporting you. You can't scale until you have the systems in place, which will allow you to expand your business without increasing your operational costs or using additional resources. And because you have more time, you can focus on your zone of genius. And at this point, that's when you get really strategic because you've evolved. Your business has evolved. And you want to focus on leading your business, being the visionary for your business. This is the part of the journey where you totally tap into your power and you operate like the savvy CEO that I know you are. Now, the third reason you need streamlined systems is because it enhances your customer experience. Clients are the lifeblood of your business and providing them with a Chick-fil-A or Disney type of experience is crucial to your business growth. 
Streamlining your operations allows you to deliver a consistent, high-quality service to your clients. So automatic workflows, quick response times, and efficient com and clear communication channels. This all contributes to what I call the top-notch customer experience. Happy customers may repeat business and positive word-of-mouth referrals. It's free marketing. That's why this is one of the six core systems that your business needs. And I dedicated an entire episode to this subject of providing excellent customer service, not just outside your business, but inside as well. And I'm going to put a link to that in the show notes. So now let's talk about a few reasons why you've hesitated to streamline your back office operations. We've touched on this a little bit, but the first reason may be you have limited resources. Look, I know you don't have a money tree. I don't have one either. So I understand that your finances may be limited or even your time may be limited. But the Mighty Society membership is a cost-effective solution to help you start streamlining your, streamlining your back office. And it's not the only option available. All I need you to remember is that investing in streamlining now will save you time and money in the long run. The second reason may be you fear complexity. I know the thought of something new, which is embracing new technologies or creating processes or even reorganizing and updating processes, it can be scary. Change is scary. But guess what? Change is constant. That's why I always recommend start small and gradually implement changes. It doesn't have to be done all at the same time. If you take that approach, going small, taking small steps, this makes the process more manageable because honestly, it takes time and resources to streamline your back office. But I don't want you to let fear hold you back from unlocking the full potential of your business. Now, the third reason, we all have this in common. You have to be in control. Girl, I get it. You take pride in being hands-on and having control over every aspect of your business. It's your baby. But honestly, by streamlining your back office operations, you're not giving up control. You are actually gaining more control over your time, your energy, your resources. And this will allow you to pursue growth opportunities. Once you get your systems in place, you can embrace the power of delegation and start to build a dream team to help you take your business to the next level. Last month, I talked about mastering the art of delegation and reclaiming control of your back office. I'm going to drop a link to that in the show notes as well. So I know I'll drop quite a bit on you in this episode. So if you're wondering, well, Shannon, how can I just start this journey of streamlining my back office? Well, it just so happens that this week inside of the Mighty Society membership, I'm running a summer challenge. It's the Beach to Business Challenge to Ignite Your Fall Growth. Throughout this audio challenge, we explore step-by-step -step strategies to help you streamline your back office. You'll be able to reclaim your time, leverage your resources, and ultimately achieve sustainable growth. We talk about things like goal setting, your morning routine, auditing your back office, creating efficient workflows, that and much more I've got you covered. So I want you to take action today. You can join the Mighty Society membership with a free two-week trial so that you can immerse yourself in the Beach to Business Challenge and harness the power of streamlined operations to transform your business. The path to success begins with a single step, and I'm here to guide you every step of the way. So what I want you to do right now is go to theshannonbaker.com forward slash summer ops challenge, or you can just click the link in the show notes and join today. But make sure you do so by July 31st because the two-week free trial offer expires then. So before we wrap up today, let's recap the main points of this episode. Streamlining your business systems is crucial for success as a solopreneur. It allows you to optimize your time, increase efficiency, and focus on revenue-generating tasks. Efficient operations lay the foundation for sustainable growth and scaling, which enables you to handle increased workloads, minimize complexities, 
and mistakes and avoid burnout. Providing an exceptional customer service is also vital for business growth and streamlining your operations by implementing automated workflows and having clear and efficient communication contributes to you being able to deliver consistent, high quality service to your clients. And remember, your time is precious. Streamlining your business systems is not a luxury, but it's a necessity if you want to succeed and thrive. By being more intentional with how you use your time, embracing efficient operations and providing an exceptional customer experience, you lay the groundwork for sustainable growth and you unlock the full potential of your business. Now remember, just consuming this content is not going to help you. Don't let limited resources or a fear of it being too hard hold you back. Take action today. Join the Mighty Society membership and complete the exercises in the Summer Ops Challenge. Remember, the path to success begins with a single step, and I'm here to guide you every step of the way. If you're not quite ready to join the membership yet or you have some questions you want answered, feel free to connect with me on Instagram at the underscore Shannon Baker. You can ask your questions there, or if you just really enjoyed this episode and it has sparked you to make a change, take a screenshot, post it in Instagram stories, and tag me so that I know that this resonated with you. And if you haven't already done so, do me a favor. Please leave a rating and review for the podcast. It's the easiest way to show the podcast some love and help me reach more purpose-driven women like you who need support to build a more efficient business so they can achieve success on their own terms. I cannot wait to hear from you and I hope to see you inside of the Mighty Society membership this week. So until next time, keep calm and streamline.